When your tax return has been finalized, it will be necessary for you to review and sign it, and the preferred method of signing is electronically. From your home page, go to your tasks once again. The final step on your task list is to review and sign your return. Select, go to return. Each taxpayer must sign the final tax return before it can be electronically filed. If you are filing a joint tax return, each person must sign separately. To electronically sign, you each must log into client collaboration separately. The signing link will only be available for the person who is logged in. Clicking on the signing link will notify you that you're being transferred to our secure partner site. Click yes to continue. Before you sign, you must answer some personal questions to verify your identity. This is required by the IRS. You must answer three questions correctly. You can choose to skip a question and you will get a replacement. However, there are only four questions that will be made available to you. When you are successful, you will be provided a password. It is not necessary to remember it since your tax return will be delivered to your client collaboration hub when it's fully signed. Agree to the terms and start signing. Using your mouse or a touch screen, scribble your signature to the best of your ability. Use the scroll bar to review your tax return and if acceptable, apply your signature. After you finish signing, we will take you back to your client collaboration hub. And when all of the signatures are gathered, you will have a link to download a copy of your tax return for your records. You can also access your signed tax return from your document locker, if you need it in the future. A copy will remain here for two years. And that wraps up this video on electronically signing your tax returns. Thanks for joining us.